Hi, I'm State Representative Sarah Wojcicki Jimenez, and we just got back from the House Sexual Discrimination and Harassment Task Force meeting in Chicago this week. And this week we heard from inspectors general from the Secretary of State's office, the Treasurer's office, the Comptroller's office, and the Executive Branch, and they talked to us about their processes, how they handle complaints, and between the four offices, they handle uh, thousands of complaints each year. And what we found out this week was that very few of those have findings. And so as we learned about the processes, most of them are, are pretty similar. But one of the things we discovered is that in our current law, by no fault of these agencies, there's a lot of confidentiality that happens with some of the complaints. And so for the complaint tents, once they filed the complaint, there's not a lot of information about where the complaint is in the process. And that's one of the things I really want to look at because, because we don't know that information, there's kind of a lack of transparency. And I understand why some of that is probably okay, but I think for the victim or the complainant, that becomes a little difficult because they file the complaint and then they feel like they don't get much feedback on where that is. And so that was one of the main things that came out of the hearing for me and something that I think we need to look at uh, in the current law and making some adjustments. We'll continue to have these task force meetings over the next couple of weeks. I think uh, the chairperson said that that would be after the first of the year and we'll keep you updated on these committee meetings as they um, occur and you can always watch them on www.ilga.gov and you can come in person of course but you can see it live online if you'd like to too. So we'll keep you up to date and uh, we'll talk to you later.